Alright, in this tutorial series I'm just going to um, install a virtual cluster using Oracle VirtualBox and Ubuntu Server. Now I did a previous version of this tutorial using Scientific Linux in instead of uh, Ubuntu. So it's going to be the same basic format, just using Ubuntu instead of Scientific Linux this time. So let's start off making our master node again. So I'm going to call this Ubuntu master. Linux Ubuntu is fine. Next. Again I'm going to give mine 4 gig of RAM. Create a virtual hard drive. Virtual disk image. Dynamically allocated. I'm going to make mine 32 gigabytes. Uh, create and that's fine. First thing settings. Um, increase the number of processors to 2 at system processor then at network the first network should be an internal network adapt to 2 enable it should be a bridge network uh, bridge it to whatever connection you need um, that should be the only thing three things we need to set so just click on OK and start it up uh, immediately it's going to ask for a f for a file so just open up your Ubuntu server ISO and open then start the, the virtual box so immediately it pops up this screen so just select your language select install Ubuntu server get okay. English I am from South Africa no do not detect keyboard layout Use English South Africa. Purple screen. Better than a blue screen, I guess. So while that's busy, uh, uh, no. I'm just going to start creating the nodes. So it's Ubuntu node 01. Same thing. Create virtual hard drive, virtual disk image, dynamically allocated, 32 gig gigabytes, okay, and then let's go on. Um, this should be ETH1, because ETH0 is your internal network, so select ETH1. Go back to your virtual box and the settings for node 1. Set processors number, number to 2. And then at network, we want just an internal network. And OK. So now we can just clone this one for the second node. So Ubuntu node 2. Reinitialize MAC address is important. You have to tick that. Next, it has to be a full clone. Clone it and that's it okay back to the setup we want those name to be master.testcluster.com so just click on continue I'm just going to add Sinky as a new user Sinky is fine just select a random password for yourself Yes, use my weak password. I'm not going to encrypt my own directory. Fetching the time. Yes, that is the correct time zone. Um, guided, use entire disk, that one. Write changes to disk. and let it go so then we're going to start node 1 same thing select uh, Ubuntu server and start it up English install and then we can start up node 2 as well same thing again select Ubuntu server and start the server Head node is still installing. Node 2. 
Okay, and node one is let's start the installation at node one. So English, South Africa. Do not detect English, South Africa. And same thing for node two. Oh no, that was go back. English, South Africa. Don't detect English. Okay, so the head nodes pop this up. This is the head node. So I have no proxy information, so I can just leave that blank. And just let that continue. Node 1 is still busy. Node 2 is still busy. Uh, the nodes are going to give these network errors. You can just skip the network part for the setup. So just cancel that. Continue. Do not configure network at this time. Then host name should be node zero one. Continue. Add the same user. Same user. Preferably the same password you used on the head node. Yes. Not encrypt the home, home directory. And then node two is giving the error about the network. So just go on with that. To continue, Sinky. Uh, no, that was that was wrong. Yeah. Note one. Guided use entire disk, that disk, and yes, write changes to disk. Same thing for node 2. So there's the head node again. It's downloading files from the Ubuntu mirrors. Some, oh, sorry, some extra apt files. This should hopefully not take too long. So I'm just going to pause the video until the headnode is done installing. Okay, the headnode finally finished installing. So I'm just going to select no automatic updates and okay so it hasn't actually finished installing it just finished getting the packages ready. So continue and now it's actually installing. So I'm just going to pause again uh, but the nodes should show the same message, so you can just select no updates for them as well. Uh, I didn't choose any packages to install because I prefer to install them myself when I set up the cluster. If you want to make it easier on yourself, you can install the DNS and OpenSSH services um, as soon as you install it, but I'm going to do it anyway as soon as um, the installations all finished up. Okay, one step closer to finished. Just select yes to install the boot master. Well, bootloader, sorry. Don't know what's wrong with me tonight. And restart the computer. Okay, and our Ubuntu head node is finally running. It's probably ah. Okay, so in the next tutorial, I'll start configuring the networks and start with the DNS server as well. Thanks for watching.